So the problem here, we want to show that this given subset, uh, E, which consists of the points x, y, and r2, such that x times y is greater than or equal to 0, is, oh, it contains the origin. It's closed under scalar multiplication, but it's not closed under vector addition. So basically, uh, this set E is almost a linear subspace of R2, but not quite. So let's make some room for ourselves and just sketch a picture to see what it really looks like. So we're going to draw the plane. Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. And E consists of all the points in the first quadrant, including these axes, and all the points in the third quadrant, including these axes. Just to have a mental picture for ourselves. So in particular, if we take the origin, which is the vector 0, 0, e, uh, the origin is in E because 0 times 0 is 0 which is certainly greater than or equal to 0. So we can say that's in E. Check. And now we're going to show it's closed into scalar multiplication. So intuitively, this just means if you take any vector in here and you scale it by any amount, it's going to be back in here again, which we can geometrically see, but we want to actually prove this. So let lambda be some real number. So then, and then uh, we'll say, let v be some vector in E. So then the scalar multiplication of lambda and v is going to be, so lambda v is in coordinates, lambda x comma lambda y. So we want to show that this lies in E. So what we do is, well, we test to see if it does. We multiply the two coordinates together. So this is going to be equal lambda squared times x, y. Well, if lambda was equal to 0 in the beginning, well, then this whole expression is equal to 0, and it lies in E. If lambda was positive or negative, then lambda squared is definitely positive. And since v was already in E, the product of the two coordinates is positive. So since a positive times a positive is positive, we have that this is greater than or equal to 0. So that, in particular, we have that is closed under scalar multiplication. So we'll just abbreviate that by writing lambda v is in E. So now we want to show that it's not closed under vector addition. So an easy way of seeing this is that uh, let's take a point right here and a point right here. Say this one v and this one w. So v is 0 comma 1, and w is minus 1 comma 0. Okay, so we just add them, and we get v plus w is minus 1 comma 1. But as you can see, that's over here, which is definitely not in E, because the product of these two, uh, the product of the coordinates of this is minus 1, which is... Well, not positive. So that shows then everything we wanted to see, that it's not closed in vector addition, but closed under scalar multiplication and contains the zero vector. And thus, E is not a linear subspace of R2. And we're done.